All right. We're doing a lab demonstration with a video showing you differential leveling with a laser leveling using four pegs that we're going to be using throughout uh, a series of videos that we're going to be using for the class. Uh, as you remember, when we did lab seven, this was a fairly simple exercise. We didn't do a whole lot in class. We have a laser set up on a job. It's spinning. It's leveled itself out. The control position is at the rod. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the rod on top of the stake and as we move the sensor down what we've done is we have taken and eliminated the beeping so what i'm doing now is i'm watching the video on the screen of the sensor to determine when we have hit the spot as we're coming down into this we're finding that we're hitting the spot at 462 um, And as we're locking off on that position, we're about 463. So we're gonna mark down 463 as the back sight. And in marking the 463 down, we add that to the beginning elevation of 100 and it comes up to 104.63. We're gonna to proceed to take the side shots, two, three, and four and we're just going to take the readings. We're not going to do the math. We'll do the math at the conclusion of the um, series of shots. And then we're going to back sight, actually take a foresight to point number one. We took the back sight to get the height of instrument. We're going to take the foresight to close the loop. So we're going to proceed to point two to take a rod reading. As we heard the chirp, we actually have picked up the spin of the beam, looking at the sensor as far as the up and down arrow is concerned. What we're doing is we're coming in, we're locking off, 462 is our reading. So we're gonna take that 4.62 and we're gonna mark it at the location of point number two. We're going to proceed to point number three, take a side shot, and then we'll go to point number four. As you can see, the back sight and the side shot are approximately the same. Thus, if we do the math on this one, 462 from 104.63 gives us an elevation of 100.01. So it's almost exact. Remember, a hundredth is about an eighth of an inch. We're going to proceed to point number three to take a side shot and get its elevation. As we come down into the beam, we have found that it's steady bar. If we read across the blade, it's 5.00. So the side shot to point number three is 5.00. There again, 500 is a pretty easy subtraction. So if we subtract five from 104.63, we come out with 99.63. So we can see that as we're walking through this, the numbers have made it a little bit easier. So that's why I'm doing the math as we proceed through this series of shots. We're gonna grab the last position, point number four. As we raise the sensor up, we have found the beam and we're gonna come down into it. And when we get the steady bar, which is what we have now, we're gonna lock it off. We'll remove it off of the top of the hub and then we'll do a reading and we're at 5.18. So we're gonna take the 518 and put it on the book. There again, um, I can do the math on this. We're gonna find that when we subtract the 518 from the 10463, eight from 18 from 13 is gonna give me uh, 40, 45. And we're at 99.45. We'll double check that just to make sure. We're gonna take the last shot to point number one to do the closing of the loop.
if the loop closes flat or perfect, the reading should come in at 463. So as we slide the bracket down, we're looking to see if we have done it correctly. We're bringing the rod into the beam. And as we bring the rod into the beam, we're looking for the steady bar. And as we read across, we're at 4.63, because this is 465, 463. Since we read it at 463, we put the 463 in the book. Just a visual will tell us since we started out at 463 and we ended up at 463, we ended up perfect at 100. So we've done a level loop with the laser level determining the elevations on three points, holding point number one constant at 100, which we said is usually done on job sites. As we put it in the book, we're noting some of the pegs and some of the basic things that we do to note where we are in everything. Just to give you an idea as you put some of these uh, drawings in your book, it'll give you an idea as to uh, possibly at least some of the minimal stuff that's needed. Thank you for your attention and uh, looking forward to the next video.